Well, obviously that result the other day was was unbelievable, and uh, Chris Wood was like Erling Haaland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I came here a couple of weeks ago on a Friday night against Spurs, and I, I asked the, Steve Cooper, who's obviously the manager, and I saw the team, and obviously with Gibbs White and Langer up front that night, you just looked at it and thought it is lightweight, and they are obviously elusive type players. They've got more technical ability, but they had Origi and Wood on the bench, and I think obviously Wood's come in now. Um, what he did the other day was was, was really really good. I mean, second and third goals, oh, unbelievable that, finishes. Yeah, absolutely. How he got there. Not, the fact he did get there, mm. uh, not just the finishes. So yeah, it was it was a, it'll give them a real lift. I think having that physical presence up front, um, I think Nuno knows how to play sort of what would be that counter-attacking football as well. He's got a rigidity to him. So the group looks like it suits him a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd said this a few days ago that. <laughs> Steve Cooper, you obviously in your head of being a sort of really sort of gifted technical coach, but the football they were playing here at the end wasn't that. He ended up having to be more pragmatic. Yeah. Well, actually, that's what Nuno is, and I think Nuno will probably suit this group of players more than Steve Cooper. Manchester United, then a change of football leadership, should we say, yeah. and then that comeback against Villa. It feels a little bit like a turning point, is it? I, I, I would be. Yeah, I'll be nervous of saying it's a turning point with how up and down they've been, with how erratic they are. Um, I said only three days before that you can't trust them. Uh, and I still, you know, you've got to build up a lot more sort of what would be faith um, and consistency in results before we start to say that Manchester United are back by any stretch of an imagination. I mean, they were still poor in the first half the other night, but I love the second half. I mean, that to me is... What watching Manchester United it is all about attacking football, and you, you don't always have to win in football. I mean, I, I, this myth that sort of says that you know Manchester United fans have become entitled, they feel like they have to win, they feel like they should win the league. I mean, that that is not true. What we feel like we have to watch is some sort of resemblance of attacking football and some sort of passion and fight and excitement. I think Jamie Carragher summed it up well when he said, make Manchester United box office. That's winning and losing. Um, and I thought on Boxing Day, I thought that second half was, was absolutely brilliant. I, I love watching it. So how do they do it again? How do they do the second half for 90 minutes tonight? I, I, I don't know. I, there's no one can explain what happened in that second half, really. Partly Villa playing yeah. high, they kind of yeah. invite that kind of game? Villa do, do invite that type of game and Villa will be really annoyed. I mean, Unai Emery walking off, he was absolutely fuming with what happened. Um, but this is different here today. So it's not just about playing one style of play against one type of team. You've got to make sure that when you come away from home and you're playing against a different type of team that you can adapt and still sort of have that same electricity in your performance. So, look, I'm really intrigued as to how Manchester United perform here today, particularly after that brilliant second half the other night. And there are new eyes watching who obviously they'll have to impress. OK.